certainly one of the most expensive, costly disease entities that affects cow-calf operations across the United States is what the veterinarians call neonatal calf diarrhea. Ranchers call it calf scours. And that, of course, is uh, when we have some real problems in the uh, digestive tract of baby calves, maybe as much as just one or two days of age, on up to three weeks to four weeks of age, when calf diarrhea or calf scours may begin. Basically, there's several different viruses that can cause the problem, as well as several different kinds of bacteria. We can do some things to help us manage our way and prevent calf diarrhea becoming a real problem in our herd. First of all is to make sure that the cows and the heifers are in good body condition when they calve so that they give the maximum amount of first milk or colostrum and that will be one of the first lines of defense for those baby calves is to get those antibodies from their mother. Then as the calves are coming in this calving season I think it's a good idea to take the calves that have been mothered up with their mother and move them into another pasture so that those young baby calves aren't in the same pasture as where the next round of new babies will be born. That will help alleviate the possibility of transfer of any of those calf diarrhea organisms from one to the newborn calf. If we have problems with calf diarrhea showing up in our herd, first of all, I'd contact my local veterinarian so that they can identify what kind of organism is causing the problem and get the proper treatment methods. If you're having to treat some calves for calf diarrhea, one of the management ideas that I think is very, very important is to do your other chores. Feed the other cattle first and then treat those sick calves last so that you're not one of the problems in terms of bringing that organism onto other pens to other cattle and spreading it throughout your herd. Certainly these organisms can be transmitted on your clothes, on your boots, on your equipment as you go from sick calves to healthy calves. I think that if you'll do some of these things and visit your local veterinarian if you have a quite a little bit of problem with calf diarrhea you can certainly get through this particular calving season and then talk about what management practices you might put into place for next year to lower the incidence of calf diarrhea in your herd in the future. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.